Welcome back to the New York Rangers return to play preview presented by Montefiore. Artemi Panarin spent his first season as a Ranger flying high on left wing with 95 points. Last week, though, he joined pilot and 94 cup winner Alex Kovalov for some literal high flying around the area. Panarin joked that he brought a parachute on board just in case, but thankfully didn't have to use it. Back with Sam, Joe, and Steve. And guys, we saw Artemi Panarin absolutely soar in his first season as a Ranger. Why do you think, start with you, Sam, why do you think he was able to be so good this quickly? I think uh, a big part is that he embraced New York. He wanted to be here. He wanted to be a Ranger. And I, I think it's analogous to Mark Messier, the way he came to New York. Uh, look for the big city, the bright lights, and it was the next step in his outstanding career. Yes, he did well in Chicago, did better in Columbus, but he knew to be the big star, he had to come to New York. And he embraced it and looked forward to it. And the love of the game is there. The intelligence of the game is there. And he put it all together on the ice for the Rangers. He's just so much fun to be around, isn't he? I mean, he we, really we are so... We're so fortunate to be able to uh, attend every practice and and see him the way he is with uh, just the confidence he has in himself, the fact that his teammates love him. And I think the way he grew up, uh, no money, his grandparents raised him. He has so much appreciation for, for life and for this opportunity that he got in New York. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I mean, I think we all knew he was a good player. I didn't know he was a great player. And, he, and this is one great hockey player. And it's really going to be interesting in this series because, again, I think this is going to be a counterattack series. And if they can find Panarin with a little bit of time and space, it's going to be a big problem for Carolina, which it was in the previous four games. He led the Rangers with nine points in those four games. And uh, he's a special, special player and person. Well, the happiest people on earth are the ones that give the most. And uh, he's a giver, isn't he? He's the gold distributor. He passes to everybody. And when I look around the league, guys, if I'm talking about the top passers in the game, I'm looking at Patrick Kane, Matthew Barzell. Um, he's got to be there with Connor McDavid as well. But I think Panarin's in that conversation of the top five passers in the game. And it was just a pleasure to really see him just the way you said, Joe, because when he was in Chicago, I thought he was a benefit of Patrick Kane. And in reality, he's his own man. Well, certainly Panarin got the accolades of the entire hockey community with the Lindsay and Hart Trophy finalist announcements, but nobody was more impressed with what he was able to do than the players on his own bench. <laughs> I mean, I knew he was good, but I didn't know he was that good. And to see him every day, just the amount of talent he has, uh, the way he can control the game and uh, the passes he can make. Uh, like I said, I knew he was uh, a talented player, but playing with him every day, um, you know, he went to a, a whole new level. Ever since he came in the league, like he mentioned the other day, he picked the team he wanted to play for. Uh, he picked this team in free agency. He practices what he believes he needs to do to get better. And he's kind of done it his way. And I think, I think that really says a lot in today's day and age. I know it's easy to kind of sometimes follow the, uh, I don't want to say the mold, but kind of, you know, just do what everyone else says. And I feel like he's kind of gone against the grain a little bit. In practice, you see him kind of practicing his own things. And he challenges everyone to be better, myself included. He's always on me to make make good passes and be ready to go. And uh, I think that's the sign of a, a leader and, a, and an MVP caliber player. And obviously the results on the ice definitely backed that up. It's obviously a lot of pressure coming into New York with that contract. And uh, a lot of people expect you to, to, to perform up to that contract. And if anything, he's underpaid. I mean, that guy was, in my mind, the clear cut MVP, uh, the way he just took over games. Um, I mean, I can't remember the last time that I played with or against the player that could have that much of an impact on every single shift. And guys on the bench are just like, how, how, would, how do you even see that? So um, when you have a one-two punch with, with Mika and Artie, it's, I mean, they're, they're a couple of the most dangerous players in the league. And clearly a hard trophy candidate he should be, but there could be a legitimate case made, Joe, perhaps, that Panera might not even be the most valuable player on his team when you consider what Mika Zibanejad did, especially down the stretch with 19 goals in 16 games. We didn't even talk about this, and you're reading my mind, John. That's what you're doing. I think, I think the most important player on this team is Mika Zibanejad because he's, he's one of their top penalty killers. He's a key on their power play. 
He, he plays against the other team's top center, so you, you can play him defensively when you need something. And then you add all his skill, his puck handling, his passing, his unselfishness, his shooting. You put all that together, and to me, he's the best player and the most important player, other than the goaltender, on this Ranger team. Sam, I, I mean, there's, there's a lot of arguments we made, Sam, but that's, that's just mine. What's yours? Oh, you won't get an argument from me, Joe. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, and all the people that I have talked to uh, during this pause, I always talk about Mika Zibanejad because of all the roles he plays, but not only the way he plays them, his understanding of his role. He knows when the team needs him to be a shooter and a scorer. He knows when the team needs him to be a passer. He knows when the team needs him to be the defensive player, the penalty killer, playing against the other team's top centermen. He is developed into a star in this game, Valley, and uh, I agree with Joe. He's the most important player on this team. Well, if Panarin's the goal uh, distributor, then the finisher is Mika Zibanejad, right, guys? Uh, he had 23 goals in the last 22 games that he played. Uh, his shooting percentage was 31% on his scoring chances. I think the good news is, I looked at all of his goals, guys, he only had three goals that we would qualify as low percentage goals or maybe a bad goal. None of them were empty netters, but all of the goals that he scored were high percentage grade A chances that he delivered on. Now you have to have the surrounding guys to give you those opportunities, but the good news for the Rangers and for Zibanejad, he's a finisher on the chances that aren't that easy to score on for most guys in the league. And maybe the biggest beneficiary of the brilliance of Zibanejad was Chris Kreider, who scored half of his goals, 12, in the last 22 games, and Sammy had earned him a nice long-term deal as a Ranger. Oh, no doubt, and uh, the Rangers are happy, management is happy, and the players, his teammates, his line mates, are thrilled that he's still there. And the thing uh, that is really impressive is now that the Rangers have two lines that other teams have to game plan for. This line of Zibanejad and Kreider, yes, Chris Kreider is the force he does it all. He's got great skill. Put Butchnevich in the mix, and that is an outstanding line, Joe. And we've watched them in the scrimmages and in the practices. They really have great chemistry. Well, I think it says something about Chris also, the fact that, uh, that he wanted to stay in New York. I mean, you look at the money he made, and of course it's fabulous money. I mean, there's no question about that. But I think the, if he would have decided to become an unrestricted free agent, he probably would have got a lot more money someplace else. So he's, he's been a Ranger his entire career. He wanted to stay here. He's, be, he's become a very mature individual, both on and off the ice. And the fact that his size, his speed, his power, if he is engaged in the game where he is going to the tough areas, he creates space for everybody else. And when Zabanajad at his center has space, then Kreider and the rest of the team, they, they certainly benefit from that. So uh, to have him healthy and ready to go was a really important part of the uh, piece for this, uh, for this Ranger team. And, and he's a culture carrier. You, you guys are on the plane. You know as good as anybody. You know what I love is that when he scores and it's on the back door and it's an empty net tapping off a great pass from Panarin or Zibanejad or you name the player, he points right away. He's like, that was from you. That was from you. And he you, you can see it in the celebration. It's always genuine with this hockey team, and that's why I get excited about them as a group. But he's the guy that really glues everybody together. Steve, speaking of genuine, every year postseason time, teams come up with themes or mottos that they want to carry forward to be a little bit of an extra source of motivation. I know you have evidence of where the Rangers are going with it, and it's probably applicable on several levels, right? No quit in New York. And when you consider what the city's been through the last uh, four plus months, you understand what that theme means. Where's ours? <laughs> it's in the mail. I don't know what happened, boys. I mean, they knew my address. <laughs> Steve always has a way of getting swag before anybody else, right? <laughs> We've got plenty more to come on this edition of the New York Rangers Return to Play Preview presented by Montefiore. When we come back, we're going to get defensive and we're going to talk about a native New Yorker. How did Adam Fox get this good this quickly? That and more when we come back. Stay with us.